Good morning, everyone. Uh, again, I'm very happy to see so many of you here in this webinar. Uh, I believe uh, more of you will join it later on. And this webinar will be about the RB2 series. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself for those who do not know me. Uh, so I'm Andres Unikas uh, uh, from company Teltonica, and uh, today I'm representing Teltonica Networks Department. Uh, so I'm responsible for operational marketing, and I would like to encourage you uh, to use Q&A uh, for questioning, since, again, I have my colleague next to me, uh, which will answer them very quickly. Uh, after the webinar, we are going to have a short poll uh, to get your opinion about this webinar, and we will be very thankful uh, if you will fill it. <clears throat> All right, so uh, as mentioned today, I will be speaking about tier B2 series. Uh, these are the latest seller products from company Teltonica, which I will, which I believe will be uh, the best sellers uh, of our, of our, let's say, product portfolio. Uh, it will reach new heights in the industrial seller gateway market. Uh, so we have released two products with the same features, but having one important difference, uh, which I will be speaking a little bit later about. So uh, <clears throat> what features does these two gateways have? I will begin with hardware features uh, since, well, uh, it's the easiest thing, uh, you know, that it's easier to describe what you can see. And then I will go to software features. Uh, so both gateways have two SIM cards, four inputs and outputs, a combination of serial interfaces and GPS. Let's begin with two SIM cards. Uh, as some of you already know, uh, we have a series of routers with dual SIM capability. Uh, that series is called RT9. Uh, most of our clients wanted a simpler and smaller device with this functionality. So we have launched, uh, so we have included it into TRB2 series gateways. Uh, with dual SIM functionality, our partners can easily use two, two different operator SIM cards for even better internet backup because one operator can work better in one location, another one in different part of the city or country. Also, it is very important feature for roaming. Those who are using a product, for example, in mobile device when it crosses country borders. Uh, with two SIM cards, you can reach maximum level of reliability that your internet will not be lost uh, and stability of the device when you configure to change SIM card depending on sign of strength, for example. Another hardware feature, uh, multiple configurable digital inputs and outputs, which gives you a possibility to trigger an event by SMS or email uh, and one analog input for opening, for example, a barrier. Uh, probably not all of you know that what I.O. juggler means. Uh, it means that you can set certain I.O. element conditions to trigger an event. Uh, for example, uh, when a thing X happens, it opens a barrier. Uh, going further with one of the most important features, a combination of serial interfaces with Ethernet port included, uh, all serial ports in a single device. In a small single gateway, we have uh, RS-232 and RS-485 without any additional configurations and purchases. Uh, they can work on the same time, meaning that you can connect uh, a device to RS-232, a device to RS-485, a device to Ethernet port, a few devices to inputs and outputs, and they will work at the same time. Uh, also, Ethernet port is 100 megabits per second speed, which easily enables you a possibility to connect CCTV camera to it or a DVR or NVR. The last feature from hardware part is GPS. Uh, it is very efficient tool for managing time based on location because uh, you can synchronize time based on it. Uh, also, you can enable geofencing, which gives you a possibility to get a notification if the device leaves your area, and you can monitor everything via our remote management system uh, called RMS. Uh, also, the webinar about RMS, you can find in our YouTube channel or our website. Uh, many people are calling hardware as a body uh, and software as heart or brains. Uh, well, I do it the same, I always, uh, tell this to our partners. 
uh, software is a very important thing uh, in a seller gateway, uh, especially when we have combined uh, many years of experience in developing our operating system. Uh, these gateways are following the same philosophy and having many different software features like blacklisting or whitelisting, multiple VPNs like OpenVPN, IPsec, PPTP, L2TP, and many more. Uh, also, since um, these gateways are industrial ones, uh, with serial port combinations. Uh, we have included Modbus TCP and RTU, slave and master to them uh, for you to reach different industrial machinery. Uh, do you remember uh, when in the beginning I have mentioned that this product has one different feature, one difference? Uh, I believe uh, that you remember it. Uh, so the difference is the connectivity type. The only difference is the connectivity type. Uh, when TRB245, the first device on the left, is equipped with our popular 4G LTE CAT4 module, which is backwards compatible to 3G and 2G, uh, while TRB255 is equipped with Innovative One, which has three different connectivity types, uh, 4G LTE CAT M1, narrowband IoT, and 2G. Before moving to the most interesting part, I should highlight what are the differences between these connectivity options. As you see here, the biggest difference is the speed and latency. Imagine using MV1 connectivity type, which takes up to 10 seconds from a press of a button to an action. Why I'm talking about this, about connectivity types, about the differences, uh, because uh, some people are telling that LPVA is the future of IoT. I believe it's, it also because with LPVA, the modules and devices are getting cheaper. Uh, less data is used, so cheaper data plans are offered also. The same with electricity, uh, since these products consumes less energy and obviously uh, the global 2G and 3G shutdown. Uh, so basically you can take, uh, for example, TRB255, use it now on 2G and then switch to MB1 or CATM1. Also, our TRB2 gateways are compatible with RMS, the remote management system of Teltonica, uh, meaning that you can monitor and control them remotely, uh, change their configuration to all, all your fleet of devices in a single time, in a single window, because we have multi-configuration. We have uh, firmware over the air, uh, with which you can easily, again, update the firmware to all your devices at a single time. And we have an, a superb access function uh, that lets you to access other devices that are non teltonica which are connected to TRB gateways. So TRB2 series gateways are equipped with multiple hardware and software features. Uh, that is why uh, you can use them in multiple projects where you need industrial protocols with multiple industrial interfaces and security and reliability granted by two SIM cards and our operating system. So now let's begin with the most interesting part uh, of this webinar. It's uh, use cases uh, where TRB2 series products are the best, so best choice. And let's begin with uh, an industrial one uh, the first use case shows how many different uh, products uh, can be uh, connected to one single TRB2 gateway uh, because of multiple serial interfaces uh, that TRB2 uh, gateways has. So they are capable to connect to more than five different devices with different connectivity types, such as heating, ventilation, and cooling machine can use, for example, Ethernet port. PLC HMI can use RS-232 and RS-485, while sensors, uh, RFID reader, and panic button can have input and output element support. All solution can be easily monitored via RMS, uh, which you can configure TRB2 device or update its firmware or even get historical reports about data usage and, and many different parameters. So this topology can be applied in many different uh, factories, manufacturing plants, because everywhere there are PLCs, HMI, sensors, uh, panic buttons, uh, even heating, ventilation, and cooling machine is probably on every office, on every bigger building or shopping mall or simple shopping center. Uh, 
<clears throat> going further with construction site control and management, uh, which includes uh, various connectivity options too. Uh, so this topology shows uh, how many different devices can be connected to a single tier B gateway. Uh, again, here you can see uh, diesel generators, which uses RS485 or RS232, RFID readers, can, which can be connected via RS232 or inputs and outputs. Uh, road barrier gate, which can be all supplied to uh, parking business, for example, parking stations. A CCTV camera, which I have mentioned that TRB245 has 100 megabits per second speed, and this is enough for it. Uh, many different, many different solutions to a single, single product. Uh, also, here you can see GPS uh, in this topology, which is used for time synchronization to have the exact time based on location. Again, the whole solution is monitored via RMS. Uh, you can connect RMS to all our products <clears throat> and make any configuration you want remotely. Going further, that green energy uh, business is always moving further. Uh, every day, more and more solar uh, panels, uh, wind turbines are just uh, growing, you know. Uh, all of them also have uh, one similarity. They have a controller, uh, which is responsible for the whole infrastructure. Uh, uh, but imagine how uh, they are monitored 24 seven because it's a must. Uh, if you thought that the answer is internet, then yes, uh, you are correct. An industrial seller gateway with two SIM cards for backup is the best choice. Uh, because again, it has serial ports, serial interfaces. Uh, it supports a wide operating temperature from minus 40 to 75 degrees Celsius as most of our devices, uh, which is very important since the change in temperature can be dramatical because all these solutions are in remote areas in outdoor locations. Uh, going further with the remote, uh, areas uh, that remote tower site management topology use case uh, which you can easily read about in our website you can find all of those uh, topologies on our website you can read articles about them uh, in this particular case in remote tower site management tier b2 series gateways uh, is very good solution because you need a secure reliable internet connectivity with dual sim capability also for the backup uh, which plays a significant role. Uh, also, UPS generators is a must there because there's no electricity. They are quite far in remote areas uh, when you cannot just uh, physically put electricity cable or internet cable. Um, so you must install a, a UPS a generator, a cellular router or a gateway. Also, you must monitor the wall solution and to have internet at the site. Uh, cellular devices is a must uh, because again, no cable included. You cannot just put the internet cable of 100 kilometer away from a city. Uh, by using TRB2 gateways, uh, our partners enables this possibility you now and ensures that the whole solution again is monitored via RMS, uh, which gives, a, gives an enormous cost uh, saving uh, process uh, just uh, by not sending an engineer to configure the device to take data or, or whatever. You can do everything remotely from your office, from your home, uh, basically right now. Imagine that you cannot go to office, you cannot go drive 100 kilometer away. Uh, you cannot send an engineer. Uh, what you do, you just log in into our mess and you check all the parameters. So how another topology, how to avoid system glitches in the server rooms uh, is a very uh, good question because uh, the downtimes are uh, usually uh, very long. And in this particular case, you can take TRB245 gateway and plug manually to the master router, which is responsible for the infrastructure. If the system will stop working, uh, you will be able to connect to master router command line or web UI remotely uh, using our RMS because it has the access function. 
if you want to find more information about this important use case, again, I highly suggest you visit our website and press on Industries tab where you will see more than 20 different topologies and articles about them. Sorry, I need to take water. Going further with another topology and going back to industrial applications with which I began uh, this webinar, uh, I must highlight that uh, all use cases where controllers are used for controlling uh, the, whole uh, the whole solution, there is a must for uh, reliable and stable internet connectivity. Uh, which is granted by using a cellular router or a gateway with you know, Modbus functionality. Since some um, of these applications requires Modbus RTU master protocol support. Also, our products are validated by uh, many different operators in many different critical applications. Um, <clears throat> they are highly secured. Uh, our uh, RMS, the software system, has even three level uh, authentication methods, including biometrics. Um, the same happens with our uh, hardware devices. Uh, they are highly secured. They have been tested in various labor laboratories uh, and all laboratories told that uh, the risk is uh, minimal or none, you know. Uh, going further uh, with the last topology, uh, this is the last topology of this webinar. Again, you can find all of them in our website. And this particular topology uh, is about remote monitoring of oil and gas pipelines. Also, uh, we have made many different projects with water lines uh, also, you know, uh, and this topology can be applied to them. Uh, in all those pipelines, uh, pipeline applications, energy is made by solar panel, well, in most of them. Uh, by solar panels, since those places uh, can be anywhere in the world. Uh, we have also included even in desert, you know, uh, in a mobile station. So because of this, because they are in uh, remote areas and they are using solar panels for energy, uh, <clears throat> the energy consumption is a must, low energy consumption is a must, and uh, TRB255 is the best choice for this. Uh, because it supports industrial, uh, it has industrial ports, it supports industrial protocols, uh, it uses LPBA technology, it has two SIM cards to use different operators. So here you can see many different, again, products like, you know, batteries, controllers, uh, sensors, many, many, many different, you know, uh, applications, devices. Uh, so the key advantages of, uh, these gateways of TRB2 gateways is, is coming from uh, combining all use cases, uh, hardware and software features. Uh, well, I can easily tell that our advantages by releasing this series of gateways is the number of serial interfaces like uh, RS ports, uh, like multiple configurable IO elements, uh, competitive pricing, which you can find by writing an email to Teltonica Networks or to your manager, uh, dual SIM functionality and different connectivity types. So thank you all for your attention.